Dad, you want to tell us what you're doing? I want to keep as much of the fence as possible. Mm -hmm. Oh, Mom's videoing. Yeah. Yeah. What you doing, babes? Well, we are in fence removal so that you got to take all the posts and the fence out down around the garage so we can move in the shed for the in-laws to stay in. Woo -woo. Got a big shed coming and we got to get ready for it. Wait, we, we, you guys got one? Mimi and Papa, we're getting one. Mimi and Papa, my mom and dad, are coming to spend Christmas with us. And we can't wait because it's been way too long since we've seen them. So we are going to take down all of this right here. I'm just about to get in and weed eat all that junk from the dog kennel. We're going to take all this down and all the way down to the corner there. Then when we move in the shed, it's going to go um, right against... That's our garage, so it's gonna go up against the butt of our garage. And the windows, I can't remember which way he said the front porch is gonna go. Probably front porch on the shed facing that direction. So then there's gonna be a window kind of here on the front and then probably back here. So that way when they look out, I'll show you obviously once we get it all in, but when they look out their window, They'll get a shot of that pasture. They'll get to see the wooded area and then a shot of that pasture. And they won't have to stare at my messy backyard. So we will keep up the progress and show you as we go along, but we're super excited to get working on this. Abby, our 14 year old, has been busy today and she built us two flower boxes out of pellets. She did a pretty darn good job, I'd say. We're gonna get some dirt, and then what are we gonna put in them? What should we put in there? Flower boxes. So we're gonna, we have those two, and then eventually, as we collect our pellets, we would like to go all the way down. I think, I don't know if husband knows that yet. But definitely all the way down that way. I really, really want sunflowers. So bad. You're the one that said you were all good with us starting a channel. I think I did, because I saw it as a way in a couple years time, it'll help me to leave the rat race. Yeah, that's what we come want. Home. No more going off the property for work. That's our goal. So you were talking to me about the rabbit tea. You said... Good. You said the rabbit tea is going to help. Our peppers are kind of, the leaves are yellow. And so you're saying the rabbit tea is going to help because why? It should be pretty high in nitrogen since the rabbits are eating all alfalfa. And that's what the yellow means? Part of it. You get so much rain. So it's going to be hard to keep them Yeah. Different. How much did we hear? We s uh, they've been averaging 70 inches a year. 70? Years. I believe that's short, just short of a flood. Nice when we can get the parts to finish the drip system. 
And this, folks, is why you don't buy cheap hoses. Second hose. Second time we've had to cut the ends off. It keeps blowing the ends off. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah, cheap hoses. What should we money. call ourselves? Frugal farmers? Frugal farmers that fail. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that could be our tagline. Egg basket. We used to call ourselves Mama, the Google farmers because we would just basket. search the up everything. Basket. Oh my goodness, Esther, that's perfect. It just has a yep. Tag you can take the tag off and then put in a little towel. You don't even have to put in a towel. Because uh, most egg baskets don't are have wires like that. Just put them in nice and gently when you <laughs> when you go to get the eggs. I might put it in top because some eggs are small. And I just sometimes, I sometimes go, what's the, what's the, what's the, I don't want it to take. <laughs> so I'm just going to put a towel in it. That's a great idea. Mom, in the morning, can I use that? Got a lot accomplished today. Yeah. Esther, why don't you tell them what did you do today? What did you get done today? Checking the bunnies. Yeah, and you learned you learned how to check them, huh? Yes. So what? We have two bunnies. Tell them about it. Well, we have a boy and a girl. And you want to tell them how did Daddy teach you how to check it? Yes. So you know now. So any ba bunnies we have in the future, you'll be able to check them yourself? Mm -hmm. So, so what's just, the difference between a boy and a girl? He didn't tell me that. He didn't tell you the difference? No, I was just watching him. Okay, so when he did the boy, it has a little like dot or circle, right? Okay. That was the boy, and the boy's name is... Uh, Rocky. Rocky. He's and then a when he did the girl, she has a straight up and down line oh. on her potty. Okay. And so that means it's a girl. Okay. So Storm, our gray rabbit, is a girl. And a white one is a boy. Yep. And so what hopefully in a couple days, what are we going to do? Put them in that cage. And yeah. pray for bunnies. Oh. What? <laughs> Shake it off. Go to my there? Sure. Come show me. Yum. Actually, I think there's one more out there. Look at our corn. They were little start plants, and then we planted our own corn. Oh, the way has made them grow. The corn is kind of getting overgrown by these plants over here. Let me get closer to you so they can hear you. Up here, all of these plants are the same ones. Mm -hmm. These little spouts up are our corn. These Whoa. right here. Yep, are here's our corn right there. Over here. Right, this right here is our pumpkin. Come over here. And then we have one What do you squash. see, Luke? Look at it. Nope, those are called squash. We have one squash on that ah, one and one squash on this one. There's a huge one. one. It's growing. See? There's a huge one. Where's it? There's a huge oh, one. Look at that thing. That is almost ready to be picked. Also, we yeah. have. Are you going to eat it? Come oh. look at this tomato. And then we got, uh, what are those again? These are okra. We have no, never had okra before. It. Hey guys, don't it's got the it. diatomaceous earth on it because I had seen some bugs on it, so I sprinkled some of that on there. And then here is eggplant. Got a few eggplant. That's really good. Um, barbecued on the grill. What is it good? Eggplant. Oh, there's one over there, so that's 20. I think that's 21. Yes, bud. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm coming. It's wrinkled. Luke wants to show us the tomatoes. Two little ones. I'm probably gonna Pretty go soon that bush is going to be covered with tomatoes.
Is that good? Yep, a little bit more. Is that good? How long, if she holds a hose on each plant, how long should she count to to before she goes to the next plant? Well, we need to turn the hose down some, and then she can count to She didn't need to. How much? Five. Five? Okay, so go turn the water down just a little bit, and then do you understand what he's telling you to do? Yeah. Okay. This is my every girl in the garden. She's normally inside all the time. One of these days, I'm going to do a whole day just on her and all of the things she does inside. She's amazing. Not yet. Is that good, Dad? So what do you think of the garden so far? Is it going okay? Did yes. we do the Florida weave okay, or did we totally botch it? You can see it okay. It's a little, it's a little okay. loose over there. It's, yes. I feel like it's loose everywhere. Mama. Yeah. This one is so little. It is so little. And when do we pick them? Oh, no, this when do we pick the tomatoes, oh, that's Luke? That's a light bug. I counted well. We have 26 peppers. Ooh. Right now. Jonah, you playing in the duck water? Daddy. So, we have 26 peppers right now. Yeah. So this one, this one. Come on, the Babe, he's he's going Happy. faster. Look at that, he went and hid behind the tires. And you wanna show them what we built today? Yeah, let's go over and show them. What? Today's so, been a busy day, huh? Today. Dad built a little box for all the poop and stuff. Our compost? Yeah. So yeah, we can put it in there. Egg. And then we have our bucket right there. Yep, there's our yummy bucket of rabbit tea. Yes, and then we have all of it in here so it's not floating everywhere. Very nice. And we built it nice. Oh, and we also took apart that fence down there. Yep, we're starting to take that apart. I think I got some of that earlier. Yeah, and Mama, we're, what we're doing is we're going cage. to put a shed, like a little shed don't house back the there cage. behind the garage. That'll be for who? Cage. Are you going to live in it? No. My Mimi and Papa when they oh. come. So we're going to turn it into Maybe. kind of like a tiny house? Yeah. Like a shed house. Yeah. Maybe. A shed house. There yeah. you go. That's a good name. Mama, but yeah. if we find one with a porch the cage. that way, we can place it like this Don't and show them fixing the, the porch cage. to the trees. Be patiently. Yes. Instead of like Let's a little porch show like down that. The cage. Okay, let's go show them. And I, I think we got some kids excited to show you all. Oh, yep, we forgot to show radish. you. So this little strip right here, what did we put in there? Carrots and radishes. See, yeah. they're coming up. Those are the they trees. are. Oh, those weeds are coming this up. This is the radishes. I don't want to And where are the it. carrots? We had a really bad rain. There's a few. Right after we planted this. Like, real worst storm I've ever seen in my life. And so we were showing them the radishes and the carrots. Should so some of them got bite? washed out. But I think we'll still get some. Your, well, Luke would like to show them something. Yeah. Follow okay. me. Yeah, it's getting Look at where we're going now. And we're going to have a bonfire tonight. We are. Why are we having a bonfire, girls? Because it's, it's 4th of July. July. Happy birthday, America. Oh, yeah. Has Dad been working on that? Yeah, we're not going to put it back in. Yeah. That's going to be what? Mimi's Papa house. Mimi and Papa's house? Yeah. Do you think we can get them to stay here for a while? Yes. Yeah, let's hope so. And it's free. The service is free. Be careful, there's some still Mom, hmm. so we're not going to put the gate back in. We're going to put it at the barn and take out this post. Oh, very nice. So, so it can be like open. free. What you trying to show us, Luke? Last time the pig stick was in here now. Then the dog. Then me and 
Papa are gonna live in here. Mimi and Papa are gonna live where the pigs lived? Ew. No. Now it'll be nice, huh? We're gonna, gonna get all this cleaned up. So we're gonna have a nice shed. little shed thing. Shed house. Shed house. Like back, right back there. And yep. You can see them in the morning. Back there. They come for Christmas every year. They do. Sure. They, Jake said they might come for summer. This summer. Well, I don't think they're gonna be here this summer. But well, it, um, come this it's Christmas. It's a little far it's away and over here. Dad, Dad just do that right there. Uh-huh. Uh, Dad worked hard today, huh? Uh, did you help, Jonah? Mom, and... Here we are under our favorite tree. <laughs> the apple tree that doesn't produce apples because... It doesn't have an apple, uh, the apple tree. Good, Gracie will tell you. We need more. Uh, need another apple tree for a pollinator. Yep. And that is either a plum tree or a peach tree. Mm-hmm. Or it's a orange tree. I don't think it's an orange tree. Are those just regular trees? Not in Kentucky. We moved away from the orange Mama. trees, kiddo. Yeah. Mama, mm -hmm. you can actually grow oranges trees. You can, but I don't know if you can grow them in Kentucky very well. Arizona, yeah. where we lived before, we had really good orange trees, huh? Remember was, in one of our houses, we had a lemon tree. But it was way hotter than that. But I it can, was way you, hotter than that. I think you can grow, like, oranges, bitches. I can you... I think you can. The dirt pile is for girls too. Oh, that's right. Don't forget that. Girls like to play in dirt too. Mm. Mm. And oh, and we also forgot. When you click onto our YouTube channel and you're watching all of our craziness, and I don't know, we're just awkward and and we're dorks. Dorks. Yeah. But hey, if you like watching us be dorks. Mm -hmm. Make sure you subscribe and we, follow or something like that. Just Again, hit all the buttons. Hit all we'll the buttons, okay. the like, the subscribe, the notifications. Okay. Let us know who you are. We want to get to know you too. So let's be, uh, we want to be part of a, a good community, homestead farming community. So let us know who you are. Subscribe. Happy 4th of July, everybody. Happy 4th.